Cassie and I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Michael Wall, Hello. who's been nicknamed the Blood Detective. That's me. Uh, for your keen ability to zero in on health conditions and find natural solutions to modern day health problems. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Wald also has several degrees and certifications, including board certifications in nutrition. Uh, we have some questions that people have been sending us through email okay. on today's topic of exercise. Alright. Now Michael would like to know why he gets tired after exercising. He would also like to know the best exercises to do for overall health, including strength, flexibility, and energy. Okay. So, Michael, a couple of things. If you're finding that you're tired after exercise, you might be exercising actually too much. Your caloric intake may not be meeting your needs, so you're becoming you know, glycogen depleted, so you're reducing your, your blood glucose in your tissues, and, and that's a common cause of fatigue. So that's the first thing. So you want to maybe uh, you know, write down your food, uh, you know, like a food diet for, for three or four or five days, and then uh, experiment with adding you know, more healthy calories. Uh, if your exercise, Michael, is more aerobic, or whether it's anaerobic, you still need calories, so you want to choose healthy calories like you know, fruits and, and, and uh, maybe uh, health bars if needed, or trail mix type of preparations okay. which have you know bits of fr uh, dried fruit in there or organic without you know uh, sprays and pesticides and things like that and preservatives along with uh, raw nuts and seeds and that sort of thing and then just uh, grazing on them throughout your exercise I like to consume that before the exercise by about an hour I like to snack during my exercise and then that hour post exercise is really key for repleting your glycogen and that's why, that's maybe, Michael, what, what you've done is you've depleted that glycogen. And if you, you try this little simple technique that we spoke about just now, you might find after three or four um, exercises that you're, you're actually getting through it a lot easier, you're more effective, you're more focused, and you're reducing your risk of, of injuring yourself. Another common cause of uh, you know, fatigue from, uh, from exercise would be dehydration. You need to be very well hydrated uh, when you're exercising, and uh, being underhydrated is like having a plant that you underwater. It just is not the same. It can't, it's not as resilient. So the same thing with with you working out, Michael. So look at your hydration. You want to make sure that your urine output, your urine color, looks very very light to maybe a, a mild like straw color, very very light yellow. That means your hydration is very very good. If you notice, like during the workouts or after the workout, that it takes on a slight, slight bit of a stronger odor and or it's darker, like orange or yellow, then you're probably relatively underhydrated. And if you just you know load up on the fluid, which is it's best to have water. That was my next question. There are a lot of sports drinks out there right. that they say for pre, for post, for during. Mm -hmm. What is the best way to hydrate? Well, you know. Um, these aren't bad if used correctly. Okay. I certainly would never give sports drinks to, let's say, a, a younger, like a child or an adolescent, for example, because uh, they can promote diabetes and other issues. But if you're a serious athlete, and you're doing like lots of long distance running, which I do. I know you also are a runner, and you do, uh, you know, sculpting. You know, you need to make sure that you have proper glycogen in the, in those tissues. So, um, using these drinks might be appropriate. I would first go to the foods. Okay. You know, um, although I should mention that fruit in, in the form of grapes. You know, grapes are the only fruit that's actually glucose. And glucose is a quicker energy source than all other t sorts of fruit, which are fructose, which is, again, fantastic for you. Mm -hmm. But if you're, you know, going through intense, uh, you know, aerobic exercise and you need, you know, sugar ongoingly, uh, you know, popping grapes, you know, either green grapes or purple grapes. Uh, and the purple grapes, by the way, are far more dense in antioxidants and phytochemicals. I mean, they're both quite good, but I, I prefer the, the purple ones. So hydration, a uh, proper caloric intake, and then snacking appropriately. And then really, because we are so different, we need to experiment with uh, our food intake relative to our exercise. If we eat too much food or any amount too close to our exercise, you know, blood travels to the digestive organs and away from the muscles in the brain. That could fog us out a bit. And that's going to affect things as well. So I think uh, those are probably the, the main issues uh, okay. in terms of uh, fatigue resulting from exercise. You might be doing too much, Michael. So adjusting your actual exercise routine, maybe doing less and experimenting around, keeping a log of what you're doing. 
and what you're eating, really paying attention to that. You might start to notice patterns over time that you can adjust. So we'll stick with that. And again, I always like to uh, refer people back to the website. We have lots of materials on proper exercise and supplementation. Sometimes nutritional deficiencies, no matter how good the diet is, will cause persistent fatigue during exercise too. So adding a multivitamin or maybe a zinc or maybe some nutritional sports-related nutrition like um, MCTs or uh, modified um, um, medium chain, I'm sorry, triglycerides, which help energy production. There's all sorts of things, and they're outlined at the website at uh, www.intmedny.com. Okay, his next part of the question was his best exercises for overall health, for strength and flexibility. Okay, so in terms of specific exercises, well, you know, that's such a varied topic. Uh, we can only really touch on that but you know most gyms Michael if you work out in a gym you know you want to speak with one of the trainers and have them you know take you through the circuits there or the free weights and, and develop the best exercises for your body type for your health goals and any limitations you know that Michael might have maybe his shoulders a little bit off or maybe he's got some back issues and so um, that's how these uh, these exercises should be determined then you try them out and then you have to sort of use your judgment. You know, are you stretching enough? If you're doing too much weights and your muscles are getting tight, you know you need to focus more on, on the, uh, the flexibility as well. And then over time, putting together a program. It's really important, I think, Cassie, to, you know, keep a record of this so people are not just trying to figure things out haphazardly. If sure. things are written down, you really can see things. And that's how you seriously can, can form a, a, an excellent exercise uh, routine. Okay, great. Okay. So we'll leave it at that.